So you're gonna finely chop one celery stick, um, two carrots, and you're just gonna cube them. You're gonna take two cloves of garlic and you're gonna chop that, one medium onion, and finely chop that as well. And then you're gonna take either one large potato, but I had these small potatoes, um, and you're gonna chop them into just pieces small enough that are gonna cook within 45 minutes to an hour. So that's really the first step to our sausage, kale, and white bean soup. The next step is I am going to cut all of this beautiful kale that I got from my garden into little um, bite-sized pieces that we're gonna throw in the soup. And then we're also gonna take, um, I only had two Italian sauces that were spicy and then a bratwurst. Um, I think the recipe calls for four total, but we're gonna take these out of the casings and then we're gonna saute that in the pan. So, you know, any type of sausage, it will kind of work. Okay, so we're gonna put a little olive oil for the first step in a pan and we're gonna heat it on medium. We want it to be about medium. We don't want it to be super hot. And we're gonna cook this, um, the sausage. So like I said earlier, we're going to take it out of the casings and you're going to cook it like that. Um, and I had two spicy Italians and then one bratwurst, but I think you could use kind of whatever you're, to your liking, but the typical recipe calls for just normal Italian sausage. So we're going to cook this um, for about 10 minutes. I'm not going to use my wooden spoon on this because it's, this is raw meat. Um, and we're just gonna break it apart and we want it to be totally cooked. And then we're gonna add in some of our, our other vegetables. So tune in and we'll be back and show you what this looks like once it's all the way cooked. Okay, we're back. So as you can see, I've broken it up into little pieces. You don't want it to be too small because you want it to kind of be chunky in your, so look at that. Um, and I cooked it for almost 10 minutes. Even if it's not fully cooked, it's going to cook in your soup. So our next step is we're gonna add our onion. So I took uh, one medium onion and finely chopped that. We're gonna dump that in. And then we are also going to put um, some finely chopped carrots and celery. So I think I used two carrot sticks and then one celery stick. Not all recipes call for the celery, but I like it. I'm gonna mix that in. And then also, I'm going to put some potatoes in. So I chopped those um, little tiny cubes, as you can see, like that. And we're gonna dump that in as well. So we're gonna cook these vegetables. I'm gonna season these with a little bit of sea salt, some pepper, um, and we're gonna cook these for about 10 minutes before we add in the next layer of ingredients. Oh, and I forgot. Um, I'm actually gonna add in one of these bay leaves. I, I think I want two. So I'm going to put two bay leaves in there at this time. And the bottom is getting nice and brown, but that broth that we're going to put in is going to get up all those little bits on the bottom of the pan. So stick around and I'll show you guys what we add to this next. Okay, we're back. So um, this is cooked for almost 10 minutes and the, the uh, vegetables are nice and soft, except for the potatoes. They're not fully cooked yet, but that will happen as we put the broth in. So next we're gonna put in two um, finely chopped garlic cloves. So I'm just gonna toss that right in. And then the rest of the eye soul um, called for two cans of the cannelli, uh, white cannellini beans, but I actually made my own. So um, I did about a cup of dried, and we're gonna put those right in, a cup of dried beans. I soaked them overnight and then I cooked them in my Instapot. So those are already cooked, but um, you can do cans. And I think it calls for two cans. Um, and I probably could have used a little bit more, but I think this will do. So we're gonna cook this down for another minute or two. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more salt since I added the beans, because I didn't really salt the beans when I cooked them. Uh, a little more pepper which we had already done that in the first step, but since we added in a new veggie, we like to add it. So we're gonna cook this down. And then I'm gonna add six cups of broth, or excuse me, now actually, I'm gonna put in my kale. So I'm gonna cook that, and then let me take this, this 
small chopped kale that I got from my garden. We have so much of it. And we're going to just put that in and let that wilt for another one to two minutes. Then we'll put our broth in. So I'll come back in a minute and let you guys see what this looks like once this is all cooked down and wilted. I'm back. So see how that kale has like basically wilted in half. It looked like so much was going to take over, but um, I used a lot of kale. I think the recipe called for two um, bunches of kale, so I tried to get the same amount. And now I'm going to pour in my chicken broth. So you want really good quality chicken broth. But guess what? Because we're in quarantine times right now, I didn't have that. I had the bouillon cubes and those are probably gonna taste just as good, so don't judge. But I put six cups in, but if you feel like you need a little bit more or less, then do that. But with the ingredients that I have, it's about six cups. Um, and some of the vegetables will create more juice from this. So I'm going to, again, salt and pepper this one more time. And then we're going to cover it. We're gonna turn it down to a simmer. And I'm gonna cover the top, and we're gonna let it cook for about 45 minutes. We're gonna check it, and then if it needs to cook a little bit longer, then we'll do so, but it should be fine because everything is pretty much cooked. So we just really want all the flavors to mesh together. We want the, um, the meat to get tender, so um, that's what will happen when we cook it for the next 45 minutes. So I'll be back, and I'll show you guys the end product in just a minute. So it's been about 45 minutes, and I'm gonna show you guys what this looked like after it's cooked down. Um, I'm excited about this. The potatoes have really kind of thickened the soup from the starches, the beans did the same, that um, kale has wilted down, and then I added a little bit of extra spice to it with these um, this crushed red pepper, so you can do that if you want, but you know, soup is not a science. Soup, you can throw whatever you want in the pan and it'll probably taste good, but if I had squash, maybe I would have put that in here. Mushrooms, I mean, this is kind of what they did back in the day. It was, um, it was like whatever they had in stock and in their pantry. So this is a simple recipe. Most of this stuff did come straight from the pantry. Um, and it, it's really easy for you guys to make and replicate at home. So excited. I'm going to eat this tomorrow because this is actually even better once it sits and soaks up all the flavors. Um, I'm going to buy a crusty piece of French bread and then serve it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So excited for you guys to try this recipe at home too.